So what did you just say about Raina? I said it's a good thing. Is that what I'm saying? No, you said it's a good thing Raina doesn't. It's a good thing Raina doesn't come any later in the day. My hair doesn't make it any longer <laughs> than this. We're shooting a little bit later today because, okay. Yeah. Why are we shooting We're trying to be flexible day? because that worked into Raina's schedule. I'm Diane. I'm Roger. Backyard Station, downtown Frazee. That didn't fit on right. Hey, you know something? A lady came in last week, and she talked to us, and she wanted a hat, but she wanted the natural color. We've never carried this in natural oh, before. That's and a nice-looking lady's it, hat, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, it's a man's or a lady's. Yeah, but, but I meant women more. don't always feel comfortable with that hat. Yeah, beautiful. That's nice-looking. So I ordered that's a different. couple extra ones. Good, we'll see how everybody else likes them. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to talk about our wind chimes. You know what? I was, oh, Roger wants to say something no, first. I was just gonna say. <laughs> I was just gonna say, people in last week they said, "You're the expert on birds, so tell me about this." So what is an expert? Somebody that can convince them that and you I know told, a lot. I, told, I, told, <laughs> I said I didn't. I didn't think we were experts, but we knew quite a bit about the bird feeding birds. But we did have an expert in the store about a year or two ago, looking at the wind chimes. The wind chimes. Yeah, the guy's job was he went traveled around the country, tuned, fixed, and tuned uh, the chimes in philharmonica orchestras. Mm -hmm. It's like, that sounds pretty classy to me. Yeah. And he stood there and looked at these for a long time. Pretty soon he said, these are an excellent brand of wind chimes. I didn't know who he was. And I'm like, well, thank you, you know. And he said, let me tell you a couple of reasons why they're such good wind chimes. So when they're staggered on the top and the bottom, and Raina is going to be zooming in on some yeah, of these. Just, let me grab this one here. Right here. <clears throat> okay, so if they're staggered on the top and the bottom, she probably can't hear us anymore because you hear <laughs> wind chimes now. They're a much better a sound. These are all tuned to a certain scale. And if this clangor hits them right in the middle, the sound goes round and round and round and comes out the end. Well, if, if you've only got this much down here and you've got this much up here, you're gonna have a different sound coming out the end. He also said that they're a much better wind chime when they're threaded down the middle, strung down the middle, I suppose it is, and attached through here. So the string goes down there and that makes them a much better wind chime. Well, see, a lot of your, your little less expensive ones, that, like that one down there, they're actually, the, the, the string actually goes through the, the little tube and you don't get a real true sound. And but, take note that they're all even on the top and only staggered on the bottom. And, and then, but people... Uh, Any more noise going on today? <laughs> wind chimes, a lot of people think of a wind chime like this here with that rattly stuff and that's the way the smaller ones uh, and the little less expensive ones are. These here, here, the, actually the wind will, when it blows, it'll just hit like one note and then it'll go hit another note and so on. They're and you know, as long as you're holding that one, I'm also going to say, I want them to hear a little bit of what we're saying and not just wind chimes. If you live on a lake, there's a lot of people that take the clangor off because this is what's catching the wind. And if you're in a lake that is very windy, it's already catching enough wind just hitting just, the tubes. Yeah. So okay, if you wanna hang that back up, and then I think you have two cents to say. And we've got like six, seven, eight different prices. And we've got a uh, red flag black, midnight blue, copper vein, and a green. So we've got lots of choices in lots of price ranges. Oh, so, you, switched you know outfits. what's happening this week on Thursday? You're going to clean up your act. Yeah, no, on this Thursday, we have the sixth annual Frazy Corn Feed. Sixth annual? We've done that six, six years. years. Six wow. years, yeah. Okay. And it's all you can eat corn. We cook it fresh. We pick It's picked in the morning and it's done uh, that if night. If you hold it still, she'll probably zoom in on it, but yeah. otherwise, you're going <laughs> to. <laughs> Okay, and it's some of the best corn around. Okay, and they usually have from some otter, left. From Otter Tail. We sell it at the end of the night. And Todd Sisson is going to be entertaining while we're eating our corn that okay. you made a free will offering for and we're winding up. All right. Okay, we'll see you all, all right. at the corn feeder in Backyard Station. Thursday night. August 8th. Okay. Okay, come in the store to see us. Bye. All right.